What happening dudes? I'll tell you what's happening, a bit of uh, the old Sega Dreamcast on the go and uh, I have beer, it's a bit of Thai ski, so called Polish beer and everybody knows that Polish people drink vodka and I work with a lot of Polish people so don't try and fucking argue with me so the Saturn's out and we have a game here, Four Wheel Thunder sounds shit so we'll bang it in I'm assuming I've played this game before and not bothered we will just change the settings here for the uh, capture device from the old school analogue I need to sneeze try and sneeze but anyway we'll hit record probably the dust off this game um, because I've not played it for a like, very long time that has just resulted in that sneezing why can I not see any video we shall try that again shall we where is my bad self motherfucking picture oh there we go now we're rocking, we can record. Then uh, we'll boot it once again and uh, pretty much finish this beer off. So this was released in. Uh, doesn't say. 2000, it does say. God, that's what the beer does to you. So, some serious music. Midway, the uh, the old arcade. So it could be a, uh, an arcade game. Uh, no doubt it was 60 vehicles, but uh, you never know. Oh, I was also thunder. thinking about it, Hydro Thunder. So this could be a kind of sequel to Hydro Thunder. Yeah, I don't want to fucking save douchebags. That was the only problem with these VMU um, units is that they're very kind of limited on capacity and my belly isn't limited on capacity for the amount of beer I can fit in it but my liver probably is which is why I'm getting to die early um, so arcade indoor or outdoor for that championship uh, yeah whatever P1 will do me so we uh, start the championship, so you can select some, choose some different cars, uh, monster trucks, with different attributes as you'd expect. Um, we'll go for the monster trucks because I assume that they're basically the, the spastic vehicle. Never look forward to playing a game that will probably require the analog stick on the Dreamcast. Um, I should probably look at what other controller options there are for the system. Three, two, one, go, go, go! Alright, so we're off to the start now then. And, uh, yeah, we select, we uh, collect some nature's pickups, everything. Uh, nature's, you know what I mean? Um, handling's not bad actually. Kind of. I'd say in between uh, arcade and simulation, to be honest, uh, graphics wise, it's pretty sweet. Nice! And uh, we're still in fourth place, which is nice. God damn you, computer AI bitch. You got $50 there. I don't know where you can tune up your monster truck. The corner. The game does feel like the vehicle that you're in has way too much power uh, for an indoor arena you almost feel like you should really be uh, racing remote control cars around this track to be honest when I first picked up the game earlier um, I thought this is probably a remote control car game and uh, it isn't, it's full size monster truck. The 
uh, buggy, carry Dakar type fucking vest. It's actually pretty decent, to be fair, give it. I'll give it, I'll give it to you. It's uh, quite a bit different, though. Um, how many laps? I mean, five out of seven laps, I'm still in fourth place. I haven't really done that much wrong. Um, so, difficulty level is default, clearly pitched uh, quite high. Oh, I've done something to warrant my fourth place now. And, uh, the opposition has soon increased the gap again. Bastards. Yeah, some fucking anxious bitch. Nine seconds worth of that motherfucker. Yeah, boost even more. Oh dear. Maybe the nitrous uh, boost isn't such a good idea. Keep this thing on the boil now. Fuck. Alright, so you can't see which way the uh, you you probably, Yeah, look at uh, that. Fuck off. That third's fucking like winning in that game. This is VGA compatible. No, it's not VGA compatible, which is uh, always a shame because games look awesome in VGA on your big screen uh, TV. Kicking it to you. We got 50 credits in dollars. So, uh, we're going to continue. Uh, we've got this little slot thing and I won $3,000. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Hold on, can I tell me I won $3,000 before I actually uh, played it? Oh, is it trying to tell me that Jack bought $3,000 and that's... Uh, how much money I've got to actually try and win three thousand dollars? Very interesting. They add some other shit into the mix. Second game I've played with slots today. First one being uh, Shenmue Two. Looks you like win a toy car. Yeah, I want a toy car. Yeah. All right. So continue. Uh, yeah, so manual. And on to the next race it is. Give me more fucking beer. Not sure whether you can uh, alter the difficulty level in the uh, the menus before you actually start the game. Because I didn't poke around in them. I usually do, but um, I didn't. So go fuck yourself. Is the nav. Right, so it, interesting, uh, now we're on to a, an outdoor track. Oh fuck, that's why I select manual. That fucking blonde moment. Fuck, can I have to change gear constantly? No good, is it? I remember the last time I played a uh, game of the manual gearbox. It's funny because it's easy to drive a, a car with a manual gearbox in real life, but I've just never, I've never put the time in, uh, into racing games to learn with a manual box. Um, the Ridge Racer, the Ridge Racer series is always a series of games that sort of said to you that you get a benefit from driving manual. Um, you know, to the point where the best sort of cars in the game are actually uh, manual. Um, if you think about uh, Rage Racer, but I don't even know how I, I couldn't fucking play Ridge Racer with manual gearbox. Um, fucking gazumped me. Trying to go sideways, fucking arcade style. Especially the. Uh, 
newer Ridge races with the, uh, the Nitrous as well. That would just be absolutely ridiculous. It's not feasible. Would be a lot easier, obviously, with a steering wheel with a gear stick on. Not too many of them about, though. Um, I mean, a lot of them nowadays will have paddle shift on if you're lucky. The lamp right there, that's nice. You can actually see the wheels lock up. Um, um, yeah, but I, I remember that um, I used to have a, a Top Gear Overdrive, I think it was, or a Top No Top Drive. There was a Top Gear, there was a Top Drive, and I think they were basically made by the, the same company, but for some reason they had different names. Um, yeah, I had like a pleather, which you don't know what pleather is, it's like plastic leather, fake leather, faux leather, um, cover on the, the actual wheel itself so it felt nice like a premium car and then it had a little uh, fucking um, gear stick, you know, that you pushed forward forwards or backwards pretty awesome at the time. Um, got pissed off one day and smashed it to pieces though. Oh fuck you man. say that this game is a nice game if you're after a challenge well it's, it's nice handling it seems like a good game but it's fucking way too hard um, not really sure whether that's amendable I'm gonna go in and see if there's any options to uh, change in this game or if it's just hard, hard old-school badass shit um, in fact, options Controls maybe. No. Uh, sound. Load save. No. So it looks like it is literally just a fucking hard as nails game. Um, yeah, you can't change the difficulty level. So we'll look at arcade outdoor, see what we've got here. Um, one series two, and we'll select a different a different car as well. We don't want to use uh, cars on stilts sort of thing. Let's see what these handle like. Probably a complete bag of aids. Loading, loading, loading. Nice, right, so that same fucking track again, but we've got a different car, so we'll soon uh, find out what it's like. We've got a automatic transmission this time. Boost, so a lot more um, responsive the steering this time around on this car. Although, to be honest, it didn't really need to be any more uh, responsive. Maybe the key to winning is to use one of these uh, cars. I'm certainly making up positions quicker. You forget um, when you've been playing current gen racing games a lot, just what old school racing's like, you know, learning the tracks, um, doing a whole race and only fucking up, you know, two or three times. Nowadays when you play a game, a racing game, you can fuck up constantly and still uh, win the race unless you, you know, ramp up the, uh, the difficulty level considerably. Obviously it's not the case for all games, but I'm just talking um, about the majority as a whole. I mean, 
10th place out of 12. So I think that's enough of a look at this game. It's, it's an excellent um, arcade star racer. I'm guessing it's probably a, a four wheeled on land version of Hydro Thunder, which I know is a, a game that a lot of people cherish. Um, definitely a great handling game. Um, the graphics are solid. Not really any complaints when it comes to sound. Um, the only thing is it is a bit of a fucking hardcore old school. Um, it's fucking hard as nails. Um, but definitely a game I'd say is worth persisting at. It's pretty nice. Yeah, get this bad boy. <laughs>